Hey friends, you want to see what a Catholic home looks like? Come on in. So as you can see, it looks like really any other home. There are just a couple little things that kind of, I feel like set a lot of Catholic homes apart. One of them actually is over here. Let me just close this. This is a wa holy water fount. So when you go in and out of your home, you can bless yourself with holy water. And that's always good to be blessed, you know, by the Holy Spirit. And then um, this over here is one of my favorite images. This is the um, icon of the Holy Family. My husband got it for me as one of our anniversary gifts. So I absolutely love, 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 love this um, icon. And over here is the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And then on this side is the most chaste heart of St. Joseph. So that is, I absolutely love this little setup because when I am overdoing, you know, cooking or cleaning, helping with homework, I can look over here and see the Holy Family and I absolutely love it. All right, so let me show you over here. So this is where we do our family rosary or Divine Mercy Chaplet. We'll either do a rosary or a Divine Mercy Chaplet every single day. And so we'll sit in these chairs over here and over here are the little stockings, uh, the Christmas stocking hooks. And so what we do is we have the rosaries right over there. And so all the kids can go grab their, their rosaries. We use rope rosaries because the chain rosaries break really easily. And so this way we don't break rosaries. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and then while we're doing the rosary, um, we have this beautiful statue of Mother Mary of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. It is my all-time favorite uh, statue. My son got it for um, First Holy Communion, so I am borrowing it from him. But I do have a link to this if you're looking for it. And then the, over here is the Divine Mercy image. And so it's great because when we are doing the Divine Mercy Chapel, we can focus on the image. And when we have the rosary, we can focus on Mother Mary. And so, so this is kind of our new family prayer room uh, because our old family prayer room, let me show you, it doesn't have enough space. So in this room, we have just this one couch. So I do my personal prayer over here. Um, my friend gave me this couch. She was getting rid of it. And so she gave me this couch, but it clashes with the paint color. So I'm gonna try to do a, a white paint with this. And I've been collecting these images from different thrift stores. So I'm going for like the gold frame. This is a great one of Mother Mary. I'm gonna make um, a collage with all these different gold framed pictures. So it'll kind of be all over, probably above the couch. Um, I love this because I got these all from the thrift store. So like this was only like $2.99 as you can see so it's really you don't have to go all out you know buying really expensive things so as you're sitting over there you're looking at this so this is kind of our prayer wall my mom got this from a garage sale years ago i think i was like nine when she got it and i begged her to let me have this so um so you don't have to like buy expensive things you can go to garage sales thrift stores you know, estate sales, you will find them, especially if you ask God. I've asked for different pictures and God gave them to me. So through, you know, thrift stores or whatever. So, so anyway, so this is our wall. I have, uh, my mother-in-law gave me this image right here and I absolutely love that. My husband went to Vietnam and he got me this statue of Our Lady of Levang. I love the uh, St. Michael. And so I love having the image, knowing that he is protecting our family. Um, I feel like every home, if nothing else, should have a crucifix because I've heard that the crucifix is actually um, one of those things that Satan absolutely hates because he was defeated by the cross. And so, and then some icons from, my husband got me those as well. Um, this is the image that was on our wedding invitation. So I was amazed that we found this at a Catholic store. And so I bought that right up, knowing that that was our wedding invitation. And so it's Mother Mary and St. Joseph. 
and it looks like their wedding day. And then this I got at Marshall's and this was, I really wanted a little statue of angels because I've had three miscarriages. And so I looked for about three years and I finally found one just very recently. But every time I'm praying in here, I think of my little ones that are up in heaven with God. And, um, and so, so that's why I got this so I could remember my little ones. Um, and so, yeah, so this is kind of our prayer room. And then up here, I've been all around the world. And so these are the different um, Mary statues that I got from all over the world. This is Fatima. Um, this is Our Lady of Cabejo. Right next to her is, this one's Lourdes. That one's Fatima. And then um, I had the Mary and Jesus from when I was little. And I bought that statue of the Holy Family a while ago. And then Our Lady of Guadalupe, been there as well. And then um, Our Lady, I got that from China, but I don't know what, what her name is. And so Our Lady of um, Luhan is when I went to Argentina. So, um, so some people collect different things. I collect Mary statues when I go to different parts of the the world so and then let's go outside I'll show you um, kind of my Mary garden and I have her in two different places because um, right now we're in full bloom for these beautiful flowers I'll show you it okay so this is my Mary statue and I have always wanted an outdoor Mary statue um, this one is actually plastic I got it on Amazon and I absolutely love it I've had it like for years and then when she's not in bloom the flowers are not in bloom I will uh, put her right over here because while I'm doing dishes I can pray to, you know see Mary and pray the rosary and watch my kids jump on the trampoline so <laughs> and then upstairs in our the different bedrooms we have a crucifix in every single room um, and then also down in the basement, I have a beautiful image that I got from the thrift store of the guardian angel with the children. And so I love that. And then also a beautiful big picture of Mother Mary holding Jesus. And I love that the kids can play down there and that, you know, they have these beautiful images while they're playing. And so, um, so I absolutely love that we have these different reminders throughout the house of God and his love for us. And it truly just makes me want to be holy the way that the saints were, Mother Mary, how Mary said yes to God. Like it's a reminder, these images of me wanting to say yes to God as well. Anyway, you might have a Catholic home that just has, you know, a crucifix. That's fine. Everybody's different. You can go all out. I like just having pops of, you know, our Catholic faith throughout the house. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.